Hey y'all, so I just got out of my Lyft vehicle and I am back at Epcot. I'm so excited. Today has been a really weird day. I have been traveling, I've been working today, and we had a lot of delays out of Dallas-Fort Worth due to weather, and it took like almost seven hours just to get here to Orlando. So I've finally been able to get back into the park. I'm about to enter, I'm excited, and you know what? Hey Joe, roll that intro. We are back here at Epcot. This was not the plan for today, but I'm so happy to be here anyway. So as a flight attendant, we have some irregular operations we have to deal with at some times. Today it was weather out of Dallas Fort Worth. Anyway, I'm excited to be here. I wanted to go to Animal Kingdom. That was my plan, but they closed in about 45 minutes. It's now 6.15 my time at night. Uh, today, at the time of uh, this film, recording I should say, it's the 7th of June. So, we're here at Epcot. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, see what I can get into. I'm hungry. I'm thinking instead of drinking around the world, we may eat around the world. Look, I got Mickey. I got Mickey right with me. How cool is that? You know, I was just here a few weeks ago, and a lot of these plants were being planted. <laughs> Some of these flowers are being planted. My goodness, they filled out. Wow, such a huge difference than just from a few weeks ago. I mean, I love Florida. That's the best part about it. You can get a vibrant flower growing so quick and they just love it here, and I do too. And it looks like the bees do as well. Got some bumblebees within this mix. Hey passengers, so welcome back. So I am here at Epcot at Walt Disney World here in Orlando, Florida. Right now I'm just taking a break, soaking it all in. It's so beautiful here. The weather right now, it is a great 88 degrees. I had to look at my watch because I have my temperature set at the location I'm at there. Anyway, so Marcus and I, we've told you we're traveling jump seaters. But what is a jump seater? Well, let me explain that to you. I'm not sure if we've ever told you what a jump seater is. A jump seater is a flight attendant um, or a pilot that works in the airline industry. Uh, it, one of the majors, most likely one of the majors. Follow along, let's see what else we can get into. Okay. Yes, that's the Korean short rib. The presentation is gone. We got some, yes, okay, okay. Six ounce Paris Brewing Company, the Bloom. Six ounce and IPA, yes, thank you. We've got that corn with the garlic aioli on there. The Korean short rib. Okay, so I had to try the corn. I just stopped here accidentally and I saw the gentleman cooking the corn and my, 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 it smelled so good. So, not only did I get the corn, I got an IPA beer and I also got a Korean short rib. So. I'm gonna try the IPA. I got a six ounce because I'm not a big IPA fan and it smells really good. Really, really good. All right, let's go. Ooh. 
Did I just say I was not an IPA fan? That does not taste like an IPA to me. That's really good. Really good. I like that. So, I am getting a little aftertaste. And I think it's the aftertaste I don't really like the most. But, I think I can fix that with this street corn. My goodness, look. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. Wow. All right, so, I'm not kissing anyone tonight because it's got a lot of garlic on it. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Oh. It's not that hot. I wish it were hotter. But that flavor is really there. I like my food hot. It's been sitting just a little bit of time. But guess what I'm doing? Have another bite. Let's try this again. Yeah, I like it. All right, hold on, before you go. I got something else. I got that green short rib, hold on. Let me see if I can get this together. Look, I'm just sitting here. On the little side. If you ever do Disney, you sit where you can. That's what we do at Disney. You sit wherever you can. Get rid of some of my crumbs. All right. Korean short rib. It's all flame. That flame. Um, not sure what makes us Korean. I'm not tasting it. You know, I lived in Korea for three years. Try it again. Mm -mm. No Korean flavor. Zero Korean flavor. I'm no expert. Like I said, I only lived there for three years. But, I'll, I'll eat it. It's flavorful, but it's not, to me, it doesn't remind me of anything Korean. I've never tasted this flavor in Korea. Anyway, not sure what this is, but almost like a a hard meatloaf but I'm excited for once again this corn is so good like I said I just wish it were warmer that's it anyway I think we're going to eat around the world tonight y'all this may get a little pricey but follow along we'll see what we can get into So I just finished up my meal, my quick meal. Yeah, it was really good. The Korean dish was nothing Korean in my opinion. The corn was on point. It was grilled. It was delicious. It was plant-based. I just was told it's got a tofu, uh, baked tofu um, crust that was on there with a vegan butter. Okay, they had me. I had no clue. So. Come try it out. It's a, here at the Flower and Garden Festival with uh, Epcot. So, I'm trying to find out the dates that they run through. So, we'll see. Maybe I can figure that out by the end of this. Yeah. They've been extending a lot of the uh, festivals lately, so maybe this will be one of them. So, anyway, it was good. I'm still hungry. <laughs> All right, so one of the chefs just told me that I had an impossible Korean short rib. I have never had one of the vegan impossibles. I've been thinking, oh, I won't like it. I'm not gonna try it. I want the real meat. And when I mentioned that the uh, Korean short rib didn't taste like uh, Korean to me, he let me know that it's because it's a uh, impossible meat. Remember I said I thought it tastes like a meatloaf? Well, it was the barbecue inside of the sauce that made it the Korean. To me, it didn't taste true Korean, 
others that haven't been to Korea may have felt, uh, tasted that being, hello, it's Disney, hello. I'm sure that it's out there for other people and they don't know the difference and uh, I don't want to say I do. I don't want to put that in at all. But that they feel like that's a Korean flavor. For me, I like that real traditional Korean flavor because I love Korea and the food is spectacular. But anyway, guess what? Look at this. I ate it all. That's my first impossible. I ate it. I, I couldn't help myself. It was, it was really tasty. No matter what. I don't care if it didn't taste like Korean food to me. It still tasted amazing. So, there you go. First time for everything. This is the plant-based pavilion that I stopped at. And the uh, that corn on the cob was definitely on point. I love tofu anyway. Tofu to me is amazing. So, will I come back? Twice, three times, four times? Sure. <laughs> happily. Happily. Come back. All right. I said, let's go find other places. Let's go. We'll see you there. So I just had to stop in the restroom because that corn that I had that was uh, vegan style, all plant-based, it was all in my teeth. And when I looked in the mirror, charcoal, the grill. So I'm okay. I don't mind because it was so flavorful. And I highly recommend that you try it here. It was delicious. That tofu uh, crunch that was on top of it was amazing. If you like tofu. But if you didn't know it was tofu, you're still gonna like it because it was so buttery, garlicky, garlicky and flavorful. So, but if you do try it, bring a little toothpick with you. I wish I had known that. I would have brought one with me had I known. Hello, my queen. Hello, my queen. Look at the queens. Once a queen, always a queen. The new queen is here to say hello. I am right in front of the character meet and greet for Elsa. Or Anna, but I think it's more Elsa. I've met her before here in front of this door. But I'm not sure if she's going to be here tonight or Anna. I sure hope so. Maybe I'll be around to see if I can find her. So we got the Lotus House. We got some papa cakes, bone bon, chicken skewer, crab cheese wonton, and some beverages. This is the line for it. It really smells amazing, but because I was ate that other food, I am now so full, I don't even want to eat again. I'm going to. I'm going to force myself. It's kind of what. I can do. Anyway, so we'll see what we can do. Makes sense? It's not making sense, I know. Reflections of China. Circle Vision 360. I just want to see this pond. Look at this pond. How beautiful is this? Found my people. Hello. Hello. Fellow bears. All 
I said, I always come here just to get a Bud Light. Yep, I finally said it. A Bud Light is my favorite. Do I want to get a pineapple skewer with uh, the tahin seasoning? Not today. But why? Because I can have that at home. I want to get something I cannot find anywhere else. I may get my beverage. At the German Pavilion, you get some potato pancakes. Another potato pancake. Pretzel bread. Ooh. Oh. Warm cheese strudel. Okay. Here at the German Pavilion. I'm gonna have a seat here at this beautiful bench. Have a seat, finish my uh, American beer, and just uh, people watch. Oh, I got some knights looking at me. These knights look like they mean business though, don't they? Let's, let's get a closer look at them. I think we've already focused on this before, but we've got the hidden Mickeys within their crowns. There it is. Ted and Mickey. Okay, they're good guys then. Woo -hoo. So I'm just sitting here right now. I'm waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more. I'm hoping that there's going to be a water activity. Maybe some fireworks. Maybe some uh, something else that goes on. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but Epcot has some new attractions inside the water for their light show at night. I'm hoping maybe they'll do a little test run for that. Um, like I said, I'm here in the Germany Pavilion. I'm full. I wanted to eat around the world, but I got stopped at one location. So, I think this is a challenge that I cannot complete. Not today, at least. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the day. So, Nick's trying to eat around the world. Not going to happen today. I may have a little bite here and there, but not really going to happen. So, anyway, folks, it is so wonderful here. I need a haircut really bad. But anyway, it is 84 degrees right now. Beautiful. The breeze is coming through. It is now 7.35 p.m. at the time of this uh, video and I'm loving this a lot. So I am in line here at Frozen Ever After and you have to wear a mask once you're in the queue line and any indoor activities. So I even saw a uh, sign that read you had to wear a mask inside the restroom. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, frozen after after, here we go. Let's do it. All right, so plexiglass is still here. Plexiglass has not gone away yet. So, because I'm traveling alone, I was able to get on here pretty quick. Nobody's behind me. So I just got done riding Frozen Ever After and a second ago I remembered I'm allowed to take my mask off. I kind of want to record that though to show you you are permitted to take your mask off when you are outside but once you're in a queue line you must wear your mask. Once you are inside you must wear your mask. I like telling about sure. food. and wine fest though, they always have like really good food. I haven't tried the wine so I can't. This here, which is 
comparison to a fork. And the, and garden. the garden margarita, which is there, it is. Well, tonight's adventures have come to an end. I'm going to do a couple little things on the way back to the hotel, but in the meantime, I must say goodbye. Passengers, thank you very much for being with us today. I really wanted to eat around the world. I really wanted to be here and go to Animal Kingdom, but it didn't happen. And we call that irregular operations. So as traveling jump seaters, we have to take the good, we have to take the bad, and there you have the facts of life. So anyway, y'all, thank you very much for joining us on this journey with us. And if you like this video and others like it, please subscribe. Also, hit that bell for future notifications. Marcus and I, we're going to be doing a lot of other videos, and we'd like to have you follow along. So we shall see you soon. Good night. Bye.